welcome back to my cup of TV. I'm Jenny and I'm back with more Stray Kids. So I was supposed to be posting a different video that I filmed, but Stray Kids have literally just dropped an MV for mountains. So um, yeah, I'm gonna film that one and put it straight up for you because I am excited. I want to hear it. Uh, yeah, so I don't know anything going into this because I haven't done the um, album listen or anything yet. So I have nothing of note to put in my intro. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe in the comments uh, your thoughts on the song Mountains and the MV. Apologies if you can hear the fan. It's still really hot in the UK and I would not be able to film without it. I like that clap sound. Look. He's looking the best he has ever looked right now. They look so good. Oh, wow. I need to read these lyrics separately because I'm seeing some really good stuff. This is a fierce Lino. I cannot get over how Felix is looking right now. I really like that. Um, I can already see that when they perform that live, you're going to be clapping along, and even you know international fans can shout the mountains, mountains. Is it stand up on the mountains? Like, you can shout that at them. Wow. Um, I'll get into the lyrics in a minute, so I want to get them up because there's a few bits that really stood out. I was really impressed with Hyunjin in this. Uh, he was rapping, I think, faster than I've heard him rap before. And I feel like I got more of his rap than normal. Because I usually feel like it's always a lot more Changbin and Han heavy on the rap. And, and this was, but I feel like they've inserted Hyunjin in places they don't normally. Does that make sense? Um, 
And normally I find that the faster raps are done by Changbin and Han. Whereas the bit that Hyunjin did here, I would have thought Han would have done, but they've switched it up, which is, is really cool because, you know, it's nice to have something different from each of them. My Changbin, he was just impactful, as always. And again, he was saying something, obviously he was talking about mountains, but he was saying about the winds and stuff. And he often does reference, we've said this before, like nature stuff, winds, leaves, tornadoes, volcanoes, you know. My man is at one with nature. I feel like I got less of Chan and Ian, which is a shame because they were both looking gorgeous. Lino was fierce and had just attitude. Felix, as I said, is looking the best he has ever looked. That The grey like hair thing he had going on. Well, they had. So I'm sure he's blonde again now. He, he was when I saw him a few weeks ago. So loving the grey and the glasses. Glasses make such a difference. I'm also loving this punk rocker look that Sung Min's got going on. And Han yet again had that cocky energy that he's been bringing this comeback. Uh, the song itself, I really liked the beat and that use of the clap. Um, and I loved how when Chang Bin started rapping, this guitar came in. I'm, I feel like we're getting more and more rock guitar sounds in Stray Kids songs. And I'm loving that because I think they would make some amazing rock music. Like if they really just went for it actually do you know what i said about getting the lyrics up i think i'm going to watch it again and pause as i go with lyrics because there was also some visual stuff that i thought "Ooh, does that relate to like and i just i feel like i need to put it all together by having the visual like um there's something to do with hyunjin yeah, I'm going to have to watch it again. Once is not enough to take in the amount of information that stray kids are putting out. Just looks so good. Okay, so talking about it feels like to me being on stage and how proud he is up there and how much he's enjoying it and that whole backbone never suffering heavy and I'm proud like he's taking a lot of weight on his shoulders but he's proud of what he's doing and you say backbone never suffering you know you'd say people who don't stand up for themselves have no backbone so I feel like it's uh, another example of stray kids saying we get a lot of hate but we don't care we do what we do and we're proud of what we do so yeah i feel like that's in that vein he's controlling the weather now considering he's pouring water it's a shame that none of them got wet <laughs> that guitar So he's like Felix controlling everything and they're on the ground. Okay, so Felix is a god. I would believe that. Um, so Changbin said, you know, saying about being on the mountain shouting even louder. It's like we've got to the top by doing what we do. And you know, people have said about noise music. And so I think he's saying, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm up there and I'm gonna be even louder than before. I'm not gonna be silenced or change things now I've got there. And the, I keep my word, no need to flatter myself. We know that Changman is a man of morals and he keeps his word. And I think no need to flatter myself. It's just, I don't need to like convince myself of anything. Uh, 
um okay so the line was about how your sweat doesn't betray you basically it, that was the line i just thought wow yes if you work hard you will achieve something you know that can't it won't go against you to have worked hard um they said it won't betray you and i feel like with all the chaos around him you know if things are on fire and everything the fact that he's wearing the headphones makes me think it's a bit of a blocking out all the negativity blocking out the noise not listening to that what is it about Lino when he puts a cap on and he just becomes more dangerous um okay so that kind of we're unstoppable don't try and hold us back I kind of take that instead of stomp stop and like low posture I feel like low posture is almost like we're grounded and solid like you can't shake us at our foundations this is where someone like puts what they've said in the comments and I'm way off I was going to get another Lino pause moment. Um, yeah, very clear. We're so big, like titans, that we step on the mountains. And our, like Chan said about the sound echoing around. Like, they're so big now, they just can't be stopped. They're everywhere. <laughs> so fast that's the bit i would have expected to be harm but uh, i'm impressed to hear hyunjin doing it so yeah basically saying almost like you achieve your dreams so you have to keep writing new bucket lists um and that in doing so it reignites your determination because you have something to work towards What is Han sitting on? I need to watch that bit again because I was reading them and then I made eye contact with Chan and then I stopped reading but um what I did take there was about how things have changed for them you see everything is opposite to the previous nightmares like all the problems we were having before things are now going great and they also made a comment about Oh, what was it? I cannot get... <sighs> yes, turn crisis into opportunity. Yes. Uh, every negative thing, there is something to be learnt from. Sound of my flute, yep. Pied Piper in us.
So this is where the song changes because before it was very much a, a power like, look at me, I'm up here, you can't touch me. Then it becomes a bit more swaggy. It's like in the first part, they're kind of inviting the challenge and it's like then the challenge hasn't come and so now they're just enjoying it being cocky up there does that make sense <laughs> I really like that song and I love the idea of mountains because like in a way they're comparing their story of they've started at the bottom they've built and built and built to be at the top and because they've done it that way they have a really strong foundation they are solid and so they can't just be toppled that's what I took from it anyway okay so uh, yeah, that was my reaction to Stray Kids Mountains. That's going to be a hard one not to sing along to when I have my headphones on and I'm walking to work listening to it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.